Houston, we have a problem. two cases against your estranged husband today. The first is to prove that he fathered your four-year-old son. And this bald. Honestly, all I see is the baldness. But shit, that might be your son. Y'all might got the same mouth. Antoine Jeter. And the second is to prove he... I don't know about it, bro. Kai Kills 88 just subscribed. Yo, K, okay, thank you for the prom. Big 22 months. Thank you. Also, um, yo, one, one TTV. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Look, it don't matter you late, gang. Father, your two-year-old. Why that baby head like that? Oh, my God. His, his haircut is so ass. That motherfucker head, biggest. I know that mama cat hurt. So, Y'all telling me y'all the kind of niggas that call a baby ugly? Y'all make fun of babies? Now, I want y'all to know, y'all can't say nothing about me. These niggas just made fun of a baby. They just made fun of a baby. Leave that little boy alone. I mean, my little boy clean, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Fuck y'all. Leave my bro alone. Little bro, little bro, little bro hard. Bro, fire, bro. Leave, leave my nigga alone son kingston jeter Our you testify there's no such thing as an ugly baby i've never seen one in my life bro they all are precious in their own way they all precious guys uh, what i look like lying about it, seeing an ugly baby come on bro when i seen some babies i'm like oh my god he is so precious Here you go come on dog Jim rihanna babies Hey, watch your mouth, bro. I know why you're saying it. Watch your mouth. I ain't gonna lie, Rihanna did not help herself with that plane. That plane looked crazy. That you may not have been a faithful wife, but you were a careful one. And you are positive. Girl, f you. I, I wasn't faithful, I was careful. Girl, f you. He is the father of both children. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jeter, Hell you are 100% no. certain you did not That's father crazy. either of her sons. You say your wife is sneaky and is pinning these babies on you only because you are still... They both be cheating on each other. They both be cheating on each other. Langston I like a cheating ass. What the best I like this cool, bro. Fist. Yo, Langston, nah, I appreciate you, gang. I appreciate you for the edit, bro. Anytime somebody do an edit, I know it take y'all time. So I appreciate that, real. Still legally married, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Miss Fain, how difficult has it been Look raising the these wife, boys alone? One. It's been really difficult. My life's been cut off. My car been taken <gasps> due to him not helping me watch the kids. You should have thought about that when you was running out on me. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, boy, dude, boy, you should have thought about that. Messing with kids, bro. Don't play with me by no kids, bro. Don't play with me by no kids. You know that she needs help? Yes, ma'am. But you refuse to help. I ain't got it for you. It's not so much as I refuse. I just don't want to be that guy taking care of someone else's kids. Mm. And you truly don't believe these children are yours? I truly do not believe it. But you are still legally married? Yes, we are. How did you meet? Take me back. We we met back in um, 2010. We did meet over the chat. Oh, baby pigs. Mine? I was, I was clean that baby. That line. Okay. You start dating, mm -hmm. and then you were in a committed relationship. And the rewind? Rewind? Of what? But you are still legally married. Yes, we are. How did you meet? Take me back. We, we met back in um, 2010. We did meet over the chat line. You start dating? Mm -hmm. And then you were in a committed Mama relationship, ended up getting married. I got see married the after my out. daughter was four months old. Okay. And then somewhere along the line, paternity questions. Yes. He... Hey, no cap. That nigga look like fucking Jackson Ellis. 
No cap. Was looking through my phone. No cap. Bro. And um, Bro. end up saying that I was cheating with another guy. Mr. Jeter, what did you find? How'd you find out? Phone rung, and it said her sister. And um, I know her sister's number is and had a different number, so I answered the phone. And um, and the guy, he, you know, whoever it was, Jeez they didn't say anything. They got quiet, so I, you know, I politely handed her the phone. And um, she, she, she's always very honest when she gets caught. So she she went ahead and came clean. So Miss Fane, you were cheating on your husband. Yes, I was. Why? Pretty much, I got married early, and I just wasn't interested in Drew anymore. So I started cheating. Hey, look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a cheater. I know a lot of motherfuckers cheat. I know a lot of motherfuckers cheat, get back. Um, my thing is, bro, if you on that timing. Why not just fucking leave? But the thing is, what I'm learning about motherfuckers that be cheating though, they like the comfortability of they of their main, right? They like where they at. And they just wanna just keep that while fucking running around running around. Like, I don't know. That should be that should be kind of nutty to me. Like, I, I I guess since I've never done it, I don't really get it. Like, cause come on now, like well, I, I mean I, I was a nigga, like, I was in a relationship, like. Yeah, when I'm in a relationship for a long time, like, yeah, bro, I might look at somebody else, but I'm not finna, like, exercise that. I'm like, bro, once I'm here, I don't know, I, I guess, like, the kind of person I am. Once I'm in a relationship, I don't really got time to do nothing else because I know how demanding a relationship is, and I don't want to have time to be sneaky. I know how much I fucking work, and being sneaky just add more shit to it. So I'm gonna sit the fuck down. But the thing is, bro, what I learned is, bro, a lot of motherfuckers, they, they like, first of all, a lot of people like the thrill of it. They like the thrill of just going around and doing something else. They like the feeling of something new. Um, and also, they want to keep, the, they wanna keep the comfortability and everything that come with your main, but also run around and do another fuck shit. I don't know. I, I, I don't really get it, but I do know that that's what motherfuckers do. Uh, yo, Will, thank you so much for the sub, gang. I appreciate you. And so, Mr. Jeter, is this the only time you caught your wife cheating? No, it's not. <laughs> no. And then the thing is, yo, to cheat, and then get caught and you do the shit again. If you want the streets that bad, leave me the fuck alone. It's not. What happened? All right, this was the second time. And you know, the, the first time is very eerily similar to the second. You know, I answered the phone and you know, the same thing. I took her the phone. I ain't gonna lie, that's not, bro, baby. <laughs> that's not. This precious child is not his baby. And then she told the truth about it. You know, we had our, you know, argument or whatever you want to call it. Then, yeah. you know, she told like the truth. Mama. And, you know, we worked past it. But, so you worked past it? Yes, ma'am. And then this happens again. The phone rings and then it's the silence. Oh, yes, ma'am. So this time she moves out. Yes, ma'am. And now you mm -hmm. all are separated. Yes, ma'am. How soon after that did you find out she was pregnant? Um, a couple of weeks to a month. So the take point. me to that day. Nah. Hey, I've been, I've been letting you get a pass. This nigga right here, I ain't been saying nothing about you. He been in the back making all kind of facial expressions. That nigga gonna go, woo, mm, eh. <laughs> For weeks to a month. <laughs> this nigga, bro, this nigga hell crazy. So. <laughs> Take me to that day when you found That's out she was pregnant. Bro. Um, when she called and told me that, you know, she was pregnant, my only response was DNA test. You know, I don't want to take up, her no, I don't want to take her to nobody else's child. I'm sorry, I don't. We was having sex, unprotectedly. Unprotected. But you also had the affair during that time, too, right? Yes. Protected. I was protected. So how many different affairs did you... Good job, baby. You use condoms. Good job. Good, good. Come on, now you was good for that, huh? Get the fuck out my face, dog. You have. Get the two. fuck out my face. Two of them. The affair during that time, too, right? Yes. Protected. I was protected. So how many different affairs did you have? Two. Two of them. Good. And during she was safe with it. Nah, I ain't gonna. I'm not giving you no at least for nothing. Get the fuck out my face, dog. Like, I'm not giving you no at least shit. Bro, you doing anything with a nigga, don't do nothing with me. I ain't gonna lie. 
one thing I learned when I'm in a relationship, bro, I'm not no jealous nigga, but also I can't play no games with no other nigga around. Hey, bro, boy, you'll make me crazy fucking around with me and another nigga. Boy, don't do that shit. I don't give a fuck. Don't do that shit. Like, I'm not going to say I'm jealous to the point to where I'm, I'm worried about where the fuck you at 24-7. Cause I let you do what you want to do. But let me find out you fucking with me and another nigga. I'm going to go crazy in this motherfucker. Don't do that shit to me. Because I know, for me, I know how, how faithful I am. Bro, I don't even... Bro, when I'm in a relationship, I move different. Like, I don't, I don't even be playing around with... with I don't even be a woman face like that. Like, because I'm, I'm, I'm about you. Don't play with me. Don't play with me and no nigga. Somebody get fucked up in this hole. Don't play with me and no nigga, dog. So ain't no at least shit with me. During the window of conception, it was around that time. Did you tell the other men you... Look at this nigga. This nigga enjoying all the tea. Look at this nigga. Hey, look at this nigga. Hey, this nigga enjoying all the tea. Look at this nigga face. It was around that time. Did you tell the other men you were pregnant? This nigga sick. No. <sighs> what did you do at that point? Did you <clears throat> stay around and help through the pregnancy and birth? Well, you know, I... What if it was me? What you mean, what if it was you? I'm gonna whoop your ass, nigga. I can't touch her. Huh? Well, I'm gonna whoop your ass if I, if I find you in the vicinity of me, like anywhere around. <laughs> oh, y'all wanna be sneaky? Too my get their ass whooped. I can't touch her. Huh? So I gotta whoop your ass or something. I don't know. Don't play with me, dog. I had to tell the truth on it. You know, I tried to be there for the pregnancy. Can I see me, Martin? Nigga, let me tell you, you might not be in this motherfucker, nigga. Get away from me, nigga. You know, go to doctor visits and do whatever I could, but I'll play with you, this nigga. lady right here, she is very, very sneaky. She likes to do stuff by herself. Okay, I didn't ma'am. need him to go to the doctor appointments with me. And why is that if he's the father? I just was like that. I didn't want him to come, but he, he is the father of my kids. And why wouldn't you want him to come and he's the father? Oh, I just didn't want him to come. And bad. are you sure it was not because y y there was some level of guilt with it? the next banger? Yo, a new, a new video? Yo, uh, yo, one, appreciate you for the bitch. A uh, new YouTube video is going to be coming out tomorrow on the main channel. Matter of fact, I think I, I think I might drop two. I'm dropping one on the main channel. Um, we played, we played Roblox. Fucking banger. Oh my God, it's fucking hilarious. I just need to do a little, some, some, some few touches, uh, touch ups to that. But then also on the second channel, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, no cap, we're dropping a four hour video on the second channel. Listen, listen. That this may not be his child? No, he never did come. <laughs> and this was not just your boyfriend, this was your husband. Husband, yes. Yeah. Yo, keep yes. It cool. Your keep husband cool. who was going to be named the father legally because the children are gonna be born within the marriage. Yes. And is gonna be responsible for child support. Yes. I mean, this is the person that's pretty much on the hook for these children. Now, why they do this angle to this baby? This is not a flattering picture. Why they do that? But he can't come to the doctor? Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm trying to make it make sense, but it makes absolutely no Get sense. Let nigga back up, bro. Let nigga all in my face. To me, no sense. And that right, but, girl, but with more doubt in my head, the way that she acted around like that, just simple as going to the to the doctors. She acted like that. That just put even more doubt in my head. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click I'm on not, the notification oh no, dirty, bell. Bro, that's not dirty, bro. It's water. We separated. A flavor. I moved back to Memphis. Once this second incident happened, I took my butt back home. You know. So Antoine is four. Have you developed a relationship with him? Do you have a relationship with him? I would be honest about no, that. No, Your Honor. No, I, I really don't have Not a at relationship all. with him. He's you acting know. out. He don't listen. He don't have a father figure in his life. Yo, baby. You think about that when you was running around with niggas like how your child might need a dad? Silver teeth? <laughs> Chill out, whoop him. Bro, see, this is this the thing that people do. Y'all do dumbass shit. Like, your actions don't have consequences to this shit. Like, bro, all I can do, all I really can, honestly, is speak for me as a man. Um, The 
the way that I would feel, bro, you playing around, and I don't know that's my motherfucking kid. Like, girl, fuck you. You didn't, you, you wasn't, you wasn't worried about how me playing around, I might end up having a child. And I might not have no solid dude around me. I might lose a good man, or I might have a, the, this good man that I have. I don't, I don't know him. I don't know him, though. Let's say hypothetically. This good man that I have might not trust me so much so that he won't even want to be in my child is because he won't know of his mind. But you don't, you, you don't, people don't think like that. People just think in a moment. People are honestly are really dumb, like by nature. Motherfuckers is dumb. That, that moment that you had, the sex that you had, was it worth that? It, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't though, but you, you you wouldn't worry about that though. Yeah, you dumb too. No, I ain't, nigga. Let me tell you what. I'm all right. <laughs> hey, I ain't got no kids yet. I ain't dumb. I ain't finna play with nobody. Look, when I have my kids, it ain't no, oh, I go pick my kids. A girl, fuck you. I sleep in the same house my kids sleep in. You know, hey, we're gonna be a big family, this motherfucker. Was that three seconds worth it? And if it was three seconds, you're done. <laughs> Damn, you're done. And he needs his dad. And so you say Antoine has really been suffering. Do you tell Yo, him? Yo, Kiki. Kiki Simone Five Yo, just subscribed. Time is. really He'll flies. This music. is an amazing community. Absolutely. He never appreciate sees him. Game. He never Thank come you. around. Anything. And doesn't call. Don't call. You know what's funny? This kid, I swear on my life, he looks exactly like these, these kids that I know. Uh, exactly. This nigga could be the twin. But the kids that I know, they are so, they some good kids. But you know they do kid shit. They really sensitive. I think I told this story one time. I'm walking. I'm walking. This one, this one, this one. I was with my ex, and she was watching. I'm walking. It's raining. I say, "All right, hold on, hold on, hold on." I had to lock the door. We walking downstairs. He walking in front of me. It's raining. He see a puddle right in front of us. Big ass puddle. I said, "Hey, don't get wet in that puddle." Watch out. I said, go around it. Instead, he a good kid, though. But this time, he didn't want to listen to me. He jumped and just splashes in this motherfucking puddle. And I say, why you do that? You bad. <laughs> and that nigga just went. <laughs> he started crying. I ain't whoop him. I ain't do nothing. I just said, why you do that? You bad. And dog, you you wouldn't be able to tell I didn't whoop that dick. But he was crying up a storm. But he was crying. And I put him in his car seat. And I said, I said, I said, I ain't gonna lie, he made me mad for that, bro. Cause like, why you do I told you not to do that. And, and then he I put him in the car and see he was crying. I just I calmly sat down, I say. I say, man, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Stop crying, cause you was not crying when you jumped in that puddle and proceeded to drive, bro. Proceeded to drive in his ass, bro. Your big ass yelling in his face is scary as hell. Hey, listen, bro, you shouldn't have gotten that puddle. I told you not to get in that puddle. And another thing, LeBro did. He a good fucking kid. I'm telling you, he is one of the honestly one of the most sweet kids ever, bro. You tell him to do something, he gonna listen to you most of the time. But also at the same time, kids gonna be kids. The bro sitting in the bed. He said he wants some juice. I'm like, all right. Get some juice. I'm telling you, kids love me, bro, because when you're with me, we're going to have fun. First of all, my house, always the game house, whatever. And also, too, I play with kids because I'm a big-ass kid myself. So um, he wanted to, uh, my ex was sitting in the room, was sitting in the room watching TV. He wanted to sit, uh, sit here with me and, watch, and like, uh, I think he was watching YouTube or something. He wanted some juice. I'm like, all right, I'm going to give you some juice. Make sure you sit up and drink this. The bro did not listen to me. Heavy on the bed. <laughs> Girl, fuck you. So, boom. He didn't want to listen. So, instead of drink, sitting up and drinking his juice, he gonna lay down and was taking sips. Lay down sipping the juice. My ex then proceeds to walk in the room right on time and caught this nigga 
tipping, and then it started to come down. It's like he was drowning. He was, but you know, he's not really drowning. It's like the shit started going his nose, and she say, "Why are you laying down like that?" <laughs> like, and then so he already shaking because he thought he was drowning for like one second, and then she yell at him. So then the nigga went, "Oh, oh, oh. bro!" All the nigga said was. And he started crying like shit. Hey, little bro started crying. Now this this time I ain't, I ain't let him stay in trouble for too long because bro, he he be good most of the time. So like I felt bad when he was crying this time. I was like I was like come here, and I gave him a hug. I said you know you should have been drinking that juice like that. Hey, bro, I feel bad. My dog was crying like that, but he knew his ass. You think you the coolest kid in the world sitting down, sipping that juice like this? <laughs> Badass. <laughs> oh my God, that shit was funny, bro. But I'm not gonna lie, all my life, bro, if you wanna know what he looked like, dog, the nigga looked just like this, bro. That's why I'm like, damn, my, I need a better HDMI. Oh my God, my monitor not on. Thank you. <laughs> That's why, I, like, when I first seen it, I was like, yo, what the fuck? He looked just like, bro. No signal. Come on with this shit. All right, I'm rocking with two monitors, bro. Call at all. Not even on the holiday, not on his birthday. And he For treats four them, years? He treats them different. Like, far as my daughter, he'll come pick her up. He won't get the boys. Nah, bro, oh, boys no, have to go no. with dad. No. Maybe next time. He no. don't come back. He don't no. get them at all. Really, no. Mr. No, don't do that. No, no, no. Uh, now you're wilding. You're tripping. you're tripping. I understand that. Um, nigga, that might be your son. That might be your son. Bro, go get it tested. I know your wife was unfaithful. And you ain't want to... It was nothing that you... I know I'm lagging. Sorry. I know I'm lagging. I know I'm lagging. All right, we're good though. Listen, it was nothing that... It's not your fault that she did that. But also at the same time, it's not those kids. Oh, it's doorbell. It's not those kids' fault that they in that situation either. So that might be your son. I understand not wanting to go pick them up and all that, but it might be your son, dog. Fuck them kids. Nah, let me tell you what. That's not a real mentality. Honestly, that's some internet shit. I'm gonna keep it a book. It's, it's, it's not a real mentality, dog. Because if that is your son, you ain't gonna feel bad for like not being there. I don't know, I guess I'm different. I guess I'm different, like, I, I grew up without a dad, and I know whenever I have my child, I wanna be there for it all, dog. I wanna be there for it all. I wanna be there for it all, bro. I gotta be there for it all. So like, and then the thing is you at the crib, you picking, you picking, yo, uh, you picking the, the daughter up. You ain't gonna pick the boys up? Like, you don't think kids notice that? That ain't cool. Hmm. So, Jeter, you leave the boys behind and you come get your daughter? Yes, y'all. Yes, I'm not going to shoot. Yes, I do. Nah. Simply because I don't want to grow and get that bun with them and it's not mine. I think that's more devastating. I know he hurt, but what you going to do about it? Bro, one of my things, one of my things that I be on lately, listen, I know we all been through some trauma. I know we've been through some drama. We're going through real shit. We've been through real shit. We got past real shit. But what the fuck are you going to do about it? That don't mean what you went through ain't real. It don't mean what you're going through ain't real. And I'm not trying to be insensitive. But the thing is, what are you going to do about it? You need to figure out if that's your son or not. She was unfaithful. Nigga, go figure it out. Go figure it out. You can still bond with them when they're not chosen. And yeah, and also at the same time, that is your daughter. Brothers, it's your daughter's siblings. It's your daughter's siblings. You ain't gonna be nice to her siblings. You're gonna be a, or you purposely be an asshole to them kids. Kind of nigga that I am, I appreciate it when my brother dad came pick his kids up. He took me to go get a haircut. He didn't have to do that. 
Moments like that, I'm going to remember forever. I appreciated that. He took his sons to go get something. He took me. Like, man, man, yo, I didn't go every time, but the nigga took me, bro. You didn't have to do that. So you telling me if y'all were the woman, y'all y'all not going to do nothing? Y'all ain't going to do nothing for the other kids at all? I'm not saying you're obligated to, because I remember seeing this video. This dude brought his kids, some, brought his daughter some food. And the woman was like, you should buy everybody else some food. Listen, I'm going to do what I want to do. Hell no. I mean, listen, I understand that's how you are. Do you, bro, bro. Do you. But for me, I guess me, me as a man, me as a man, bro, if I got it, I'm going to do it for it. If I, if I don't have it, listen, just know I can't do it for everybody. I'm going to do it for mine, but I'm not going to purposely exclude your kids out, out, out of spite. Because them fucking kids ain't do nothing. Niggas be, niggas be so vindictive to kids and kids don't do nothing. Them kids didn't ask to be born. Them kids didn't ask to be in that situation. Them kids didn't do nothing to you. The mom did. The mom did. Those kids, bro, kids are clean slates, man. They clean slates. They, they, they fucking innocent, bro. They didn't do nothing, bro, except be born, my nigga. Why you, why do, why you been asshole all the kids? Nigga say fuck them kids. That's, it's not a real mentality. It's funny. It's funny to say online. It's funny to say when kids get crossed over. But if we being honest, it's not realistic, my nigga. It's not. It's not, bro. Them kids didn't do shit. Anyway. You know, he... Is it going to be more I ain't devastating to like preaching, though. than if you know they I'm end saying? up like, I feel like it's not yours real. and you are the father and you've missed four years of connecting with him and the child is acting out because he has no father figure and he thinks you're his daddy, but he thinks you only come for his sister and not for him? Well, I admit it's not fair, but, you know, it's just the hand out. I'm sorry, but if I have one kid... I'm not going to try and take care of other niggas' creation. <laughs> I'm not telling you to raise these kids, my nigga. But I just think that it's like... You ain't going to ever, like, I don't know, bro. You ain't going to ever fucking interact with the other kids at all. Like, let's say, for example, it's your son's birthday party. You ain't going to invite the other kids? His siblings that he live with all the time. So I guess when the kids come, you ain't gonna get him a candy bag. I think it's weird, bro. It's weird to me. I'm being honest. Like, understand not taking care of them. You ain't gotta buy these niggas no school clothes every time. I'm not telling you niggas to do that. But the way y'all niggas make it sound like y'all not gonna have no interaction with them kids, that's fucking weird, bro. I don't know, but you know what? Y'all, I got y'all. I'm going to agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to agree to disagree with you, bro. I was dealt right now. All right, so, Miss Fang. Yo, Larry, I appreciate that, You didn't open game. just one case today. You have two. Yes, Your Honor. You also have a son named Kingston. Yes, Your Honor. And you say Thanks, that Jenny. Mr. Jeter, your husband, is Kingston's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. And Kingston is two. Yes, Your Honor. But wait a minute, Mr. Jeter, you said you all separated four years ago. So hey, minute, minute, you minute, didn't come for a sister and not are the father and you've missed four years. Spencer Robinson just him, subscribed. And the child is acting out because he has no father figure and he thinks you're his daddy, but he thinks you only come for a sister and not for him. Well, I admit it's not fair, but, you know, it's just the hand I was dealt right now. All right. So, Miss Fang, you didn't open just one case today. You I have watched two. my brothers. Yes, Your Honor. You all. So you said, I watched my brothers and older sister have a father. I had no bond um, with my father or with my sibling's father. And how did that make you feel as a kid? How did that make you feel when your, your, your sisters them came back? They had a hell of a time. You've been sitting in the house because your dad not there. How did it make you feel? Pretty sure it didn't make you feel good. Don't sit and act like, oh, I, I didn't really feel no way. I, it's not real. Kids feel away, nigga. Kids, kids, I had my mom. I was okay. Nigga, let me tell you what. I've gotten over not, not having a dad. It really don't affect me. But um, I don't feel bad about it. Did I wish that my dad was dead when I was younger? Yeah. But looking back at it, bro, I came up. I'm the man that I am now. I'm good. I've made it. Thank God. I made it, right? I'm really not affected by it, okay? So, I say all that to say this. 
But I still can go back to remember how I felt. I still can go back to remember how I felt when my brothers would go somewhere and go visit. They, uh, they dad, let's say they, they, they dad niece had a party and they would come back and I've been sitting at the house all day because all of them left because they all had a dad and I didn't. I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. I remember seeing um, the teachers talking about parent, son, uh, what, what is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, son, dad, donut day. Don't cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm good, nigga. All right. Son, dad, donut day. And I'm like, damn, I'd love to go to something like that. I remember seeing them get things that I didn't get simply because I didn't have a dad. So if it, if I know how it made me feel, why the fuck? Larry Larry 2327 no, just subscribed. So, like if I know it didn't make me feel good, why the fuck would I try to put to put another kid through that? I'm not telling you to raise another man's child. I'm saying if you're going, if you're doing something, let's say for example, you're taking your kids to fucking bounce bounce or chuggy cheese. Does it hurt you? Yeah, the donation was loud. I'm sorry. Does it, Yeah, I'm sorry. I turned it on. Does it hurt you to take the other kid with him too? Guess what? Your son wants to play with his sibling. Every now and then, you ain't got to take him all the time. Yeah, your son want to bond with you. But yo, have you been out with kids? They love having fun with you, but they rather play with other kids too. Nigga, this is siblings, bro. I don't know. But listen, y'all know my point of view. I'm not going to keep pausing it. I just agree to disagree with y'all. I'm not going to disrespect y'all opinions. I just, I'm be a little different. I'm be a little different. Also have a son named Kingston. Yes, Your Honor. And you say that Mr. Jeter, your husband, is Kingston's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. And Kingston is two. Yes, Your Honor. But wait a minute, Mr. Jeter, you said you all separated four years ago. So how could mm. you be a possible father of Kingston, who's kept two? coming back. If you left mm. going back home he to kept Memphis. coming back. Well, see, what had happened was... <laughs> <laughs> hey, and this is a classic example of why this nigga wrong. I know you... Hey, she cheated on you. She cheated on you. Boy, boy you right for this. You right for how you feel about her. But you kept coming back to fuck. And not but fucking raw. So you can come back to fucking raw, but you can't come back to pick up a son that might possibly be yours. Newsflash: Your son's more important than the than, yo, your son more more important than the pussy. Simple. Sorry to be vulgar. Your son's more important than your sex drive. You're raising a whole human, nigga. You're wrong. Your bald head ass is wrong. Happened was. <laughs> That's a lie. What had happened? Um, I was still making those trips up the road. That's what happened. Is he no y'all? He's just gonna tell the truth. Well, come on then. Look, we know a nigga gonna be a nigga, bro. We know a nigga gonna be a nigga. Come on, bro. But you wrong, my boy. You wrong. And also, you shorty, you wrong too. Cause you cheated. First of all, boy, you started all this shit. But also, you see, he don't want to be a dad to his kid. Why you still fucking, bro? Bro, people are dumb. <laughs> so wait a minute. You brought your girlfriend with you. She's sitting here supporting you. She's been with you for four years. Oh, but you oh, got you a two-year-old son with somebody that on you. potentially with your wife. Yeah. You're now what right. kind of mess is this? You're right, right? <laughs> I'm a, was a hot mess. <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> you know? I tell you, they both some cheating niggas. I seen it from the get-go. So, Mr. Jeter, I think this is a good opportunity and a good time to hear from your girlfriend. <laughs> uh -oh. Ma'am, please step up to the phone. 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%, bro. I'm still taking them trips. State your name for the court. I'm Amanda Askew, and I have been dating the defendant for four years. Four years. I yes, ma'am. So too. when's the first time you heard about him still going back and visiting his wife and sleeping with her? Today. Oh. How can you sit here like this and embarrass your, your significant other? Hey, to all my dudes not in a relationship, I'm going to put y'all boys on game. Never embarrass a significant other. Respect is everything. And also, how you make me look is everything, too. 
you gonna bring this lady on this motherfucking TV show in front of the fucking world. You never know who can see this. You got her looking crazy, bro. How can this be your person? And you got her looking. What are we doing? That shit is so disrespectful. Bro. What are we doing, nigga? Yes, ma'am. Come so, on, Mr. G, look at this nigga. <laughs> look at this nigga face. What are we doing? So you telling me you single now? The only one that you hitting, the only one that you letting fuck raw is your, is your a strange husband. I believe that. Yo, that's one of them lies. It sound good. <laughs> that shit sound good. We don't believe that shit, though. We, so you telling me you got this other nigga? Hold on, hold on, hold on. For the condiment. Stop it. We don't believe you. It's kind of hard to believe, man. Yeah, incredibly hard to believe. Bro, fucking shit up for the rest of us. These are the horror stories that got me dry on this side. Good Lord, oh, Trey, look at you DM in Discord. Look at my DM, I got you. Well, you sure ain't the one that needs <laughs> to be talking about what's hard to believe now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Cheating on your girlfriend with your wife. I don't even know. Hey, listen, Drake, you send me this nigga one more time, your ass might be up out of here. Off that app, that, can you do that? How do you have time to do that? And you supposed to be working 10 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, obviously. Let me tell you what, he working 10 hours a day, six days a week. The seventh day, he really only working six hours. He spend them other four in her face telling her how he want to build. Well, you know, he spent two of them hours in her face. I want my family back. I want my family back. He spent 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 minutes or whatever. I mean, let's, let's say for a goddamn 15 minutes clapping. But then he spent the rest of the time driving around finding well seat. Then he come home. That's what he do. That's what that's what we're doing. Nigga. Obviously, we weren't doing that. He had some extra shifts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at, at home. So you find out you're pregnant. You tell Mr. Jeter. Do you but tell the other man the I'm pregnant? Eats. I did not, because I was sure that Jeter was the Andrew was wow. the uh, father. So when you had the baby, when you had Kingston, who was with you? The other guy. <laughs> And he signed the birth certificate, Your Honor. Did and not. he signed the birth certificate. He did not sign the birth certificate. Do you have a copy of Kingston's birth certificate? Here, yes. He's, we submitted it to the you court. You submitted it to the court? Yes. Uh -huh. So this is the, the uh, certification. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. You court. submitted it to the court? Yes. Kingston's birth certificate. Miss you. Miss you. You need to sit down and stop talking. You got a whole lot of opinions like the new woman always have. You got a whole lot of opinions. I understand it. But you need to learn right now, once you came to this court and realized that nigga lied, you should have immediately took a backseat because all my opinions might be might be formed off of a fucking lie. Why are you even like even partially kind of defending this nigga? You need to sit the fuck down. I understand all face, no neck. I'm not gonna lie, crazy build. And a wig is crazy too. But uh I lost my train of thought. Listen. You need to back the fuck back. First certificate? Yes. yes. We submitted it to the you court. You submitted it to the court? Yes. Uh -huh. So this is the, the uh, certification of birth. That shit blank And no father listed. I was under the impression, too, that he signed the birth certificate. He did. Well, you know why he can't? He was, he was under a lot of impressions. Because you're the husband. Right. Right. Uh, and he been asking for a divorce. They could they could have been going half on it together. They was going half. They were going half. She's still talking. Like, bro, that's so in the chat. Please never be her. Please, I'm begging y'all, never be her. She looked like a fucking clown. Good Lord, he's sweating like shit. This might be raps, but all I have to say is Shorty cheated and she was lying from the jump. Who's to say she was ever using protection? Bro, she probably wasn't. She probably wasn't. The thing is, you a guy got once giving you a break for once. I'm giving you a break because you didn't start none of this cheating shit. I was faithful, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, who the fuck told you to go back and keep hitting her raw? Here, truth, I don't want to hear nothing else about the beginning. 
Because, all right, now you're dealing with, damn, I might have one son. I don't know if it's mine. And I see, bro, I feel my feelings all kind of fucked up because you might remind me of what your mom did to me. You think I'm going to go create a second memory? Stop that. With the same birth? Stop that. Stop it. They could they could have been going. Yo, Lord Mike, take your ass to the hub and get out of here. One half on it together. They was going half. Oh, yeah, with her. Yo, SOT, never be her. Never be her. She like a fucking clown. You still talking and you still reiter like um reiterating lies that this guy has obviously told you that he was trying to go half and tell her let's go half on a divorce. He going over there hidden. That nigga wasn't saying none of those. They were going half, Miss Abby. They were going half on the baby. They weren't yeah. going half on no divorce. I was, okay, you took it out of my mouth. He, they want, he going, want a divorce, he need to pay for it. How about both y'all pay for it? It's just on father for, on him. He can pay for both it. Miss, how about both y'all go? How about both y'all do it? She don't want to leave this nigga. Why the fuck would I pay for something I want to leave? <laughs> or do you know what the fuck you said? She don't want the divorce. Nigga, I'm not. He's gonna, gonna pay for it. You want to go pay for it? Hold on, hold on, He's hold, still on, gonna hold, be on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When's the last time you had sex with your husband? It's been probably a year ago. Just about a year right. ago. So you all were still progress. having sex progress. after Kingston was born. Yes, Your Honor. Mm. All right, Yo, well, we're here now. The we can't turn up. Appreciate you for Ben's watching the videos, though. All, all my dudes that Ben's watching videos, I fuck with y'all, you know what I mean? Around. Yes, we all. Fuck with all. <laughs> Make sure y'all like them. So there are two children here yes, whose man. paternity is truly on the line. Yeah. And Mr. Jeter, even though you may have cause to believe... Hey, Chad, which one of y'all think look like him? Which one of y'all think look like him? Oh, mm -hmm. The right? You may. I'm not gonna lie. She might go over two. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think it said the boy, they both boys. Yo, Jay, Jay, yo, Jay, they both boys. They both boys. He just got plats. He just got plats. He just got plats. He just got plats, bro. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna count. But she might go over to. May not be the children's biological father. You still do really have cause to believe that you could be these children's biological yes, father. Sure. That's real. That's the real truth. Yes, ma'am. Now I know you have not spent a lot of time with Antoine. Antoine look bad as fuck, bro. Antoine be biting the niggas. Fine. But have you spent time with Kingston? He's two? No, nope. ma'am. Not at all. <laughs> but you see the effects of not having a father figure yes. and the way the children behave, especially Antoine. Antoine. He's you say he's struggling. Today. He sorry? needs his father. So what are your hopes today? Because I see, I see the hurt in your eyes. What are you hoping for? Hoping to get these results so he can start being there for his kids and take care of his kids like he's supposed to. And it's not all about money. He can come get them. It's not about the money. And he can spend time with them. With I just want to get this resolved. Help me girl, watch them. Today, because I don't, don't want to. <laughs> Help me watch them. <laughs> hey, man, go pick me your motherfucking son. That nigga being bad, bro. We have another goddamn little hooligan running around, bro. He needs, he needs his daddy, bro. Yo, all children need their fathers, bro. They need their fathers, bro, okay? Go get that little bad nigga, bro. And it's terrorizing the goddamn, uh, the daycare. Go get that little, little Anwar. Yo, don't call my nigga little Anwar. You wallet, you wallet, you wallet. Yo, go get that little nigga. That little nigga bad, man. Uh, watch another man's kid. I don't want to I... raise another man's kids. She can that. have 20 more kids and they're going to fall on me. My tools are tied. I don't want that. No, I, I, I want a divorce. I understand that. All right, I'm ready for the results. I understand not wanting to raise somebody's kids. I understand that. Especially to a woman that's been unfaithful. You think I'm finna help you out and you fuck me over? But live on that hill and die on it. I understand it, but are you still over there hitting it? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. This nigga can't wait for the goddamn results. This nigga enjoyed his time here. And they read as follows. This result right, is for Antoine. In the case of... Fame versus Jeter. 
when it comes to four-year-old Antoine Jeter. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Jeter, you... And was fucking hilarious. That shit is funny, bro. You are the father. I'm oh. bad as fuck. Well, take care of little bro. You know what I'm saying? The first thing you need to do, you need to walk home. Son, dad is here, okay? Miss a lot of time. All that bad shit, you finna cut it out. I ain't gonna cuss this first time. All right? I ain't gonna cuss this first time. I'm letting you know. Get it here. Stop it. Take your time. Listen, I done told your little bad ass. I done told your little bad ass. Stop this shit. You ain't listen. All right? I told you. I already know. <laughs> you are the father. Look how she look. Damn. Yeah! Van uh, uh. What do you have to say? Now I'm, I'm hoping he can be in his son's life. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be there for your son, Mr. G? That, that little nigga look bad, bro. He look like he been bad doing recording. Man, yo, help correct my dog. Yes, I do. I'm not one to turn my back on my responsibilities, you know. I work him with open arms and I'm going to step up. Because I, I, I see the acting out myself. And this is all basically what I wanted to and know you for ain't sure. Shit about it. Right. I'm ready for Kingston's results. Jerome? These results. No cap, it's not my business, but I'm keeping it in a book. I'm kind of hoping the other kid is. Take care of both of your kids, nigga. I'm kind of hoping the other kid is his, because I already know. If this kid ain't his, he about to lead little bro in the dust. Oh my God, little bro finna be sick, bro. And take care of your kids, nigga. Take care of your kids, nigga. Both were prepared by DNA Diagnostics up, as well. And they read as follows. In the case of Fane versus Jeter, when it comes to two-year-old Kingston, it has been determined by this court. I feel like it ain't his. Mr. Jeter, you are not the father. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Mm. Ms. Fane, do you know who Damn. Kingston's biological father is. Go yes, your daddy. honor. It's the other guy. Go get his motherfucking daddy. Let me tell you what. This other nigga ain't doing nothing for little bro. Let me tell you. Listen, he don't give a fuck if it's Kingston's birthday. He What he gonna do is he gonna buy his son an outfit and not buy Kingston. Shit. He don't care if you're saying, yo, I, I need help picking up the boys. Can you pick them up from school? That nigga gonna pick up Antoine. And Kingston gonna have to find his way. So you need to go find Kingston's daddy. It's on you. You want to play with that nigga? Gotta go do that. But you said you were sure because you only had unprotected sex with your husband. She a motherfucking lie. We all knew that. Chat. All my niggas in the chat. This is an example of if it don't sound right, it ain't right. Bro, shorty will lie in your face. I promise you. You know, it did this. We only... Shut the fuck up. You're lying. Yes, but that's the only other person. Has he ever met his father? Yes, Your Honor. He denied him also. <laughs> so now he's probably going to need a test to prove it to him. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I say we're here for children, and, and, I, and this courtroom is here. If he needs to have a test, get that's the... That's going to bully his brother over not having a daddy? Probably, bro, bro, bro. Come on, man. Honestly, look, I'm not gonna have no sentimental moment though, but like real shit, listen. Look what like y'all, look what the playing around do. This is a fucking kid that's an innocent child that ain't do nothing. Going through going through the shit because your your because your dumb ass parents wanna be dumb ass. Certainty he deserves. This baby deserves to know. Absolutely. A hundred percent. hundred percent. A good video. Good video. Good video. Good video.